The Senate expenses scandal was back on the senators today, and one in particular. It was discovered that Mac Harb, who was appointed as a liberal, owes almost a quarter of a million dollars in improper expense claims. That stunning figure is raising new questions about the overall scandal. Lori Graham has the latest tonight from Ottawa. Lori. Peter, for months, former Conservative Senators Mike Duffy and Pamela Wallen have been in the spotlight for filing inappropriate expense claims. Well, tonight, it's a Liberal Senator in the hot seat. These are old pictures of Senator Mac Harb. He keeps a low profile and is not often seen going into the Senate, especially not today, when news broke that his outstanding bill for improperly claimed living expenses was not $50,000 as originally reported by the Senate committee, but more than $231,000. It is surprising, and uh, but all the more reason. I'm very happy uh, that uh, we've tightened the rules significantly and also have called in the Auditor General. I didn't, I've not heard that figure. What I had heard was that there was a, you know, they'd agreed to go back further. Auditors went back further, all right, to 2005, two years after Mac Harb was appointed to the Senate. Now his outstanding tab, 146000 for improperly claimed living expenses, almost 44000 for mileage, and because the audit went back eight years, Harb is on the hook for almost $42,000 in interest. I'm actually very saddened and upset by this and, and outrage. Uh, outrage. Harb is appealing the audit, and today his lawyer told CBC there will be more details in the coming days. Harb resigned from the Liberal caucus in May. Today, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau said Harb will only be allowed back in if he's cleared. If he hasn't, he won't be allowed back in the caucus. Bye. Senator Pamela Wallen's case is still outstanding. She's already paid back close to $40,000, but is expected to owe tens of thousands more. My understanding is that they're doing a, a very thorough job. They're going as deep as they possibly can to make sure that, uh, you know, they, that they cover every, every base possible. Tomorrow, auditors will brief a Senate committee on Wallen's file. Lori Graham, CBC News, Ottawa.